So here is another movie. So uh, I wanted to make this movie for a longer time, but I did not find uh, some time. Uh, so what I want to show in this movie is this backpack. I will take over this cover. It is my it is my drone uh, setup. It's a backpack that that contains all the uh, drone, not parts, but all the setup, the uh, the FPV, the remote, everything. And as you can see, also the drone. I want to show because uh, what uh, what do I have? Because I will let my friend fly this drone, and I think I will not be able to show it any more in one uh, in one part. So I need to <laughs> make this movie in this moment. Okay, so uh, I will uh, start from the backpack. And then I will just show the uh, the drone. So this movie may be a bit long. Also, I don't remember all the uh, models, all the names of the parts. So uh, I will uh, make a uh, document because there are many parts. If someone are uh, interested, what, what I use on the on the drone, what uh, parts do I have? I will make a document where you can uh, find what what exactly models uh, are those. Uh, I also have some uh, extra parts, some uh, tools, something like that. So uh, all will be able, uh, you will be able to find it in the description. And in this moment, I will just uh, put the drone to the side, and I will uh, set it on, set the backpack on the. Uh, next to the window and I will start to show what do I have inside okay so we will start from the outside uh, about the backpack uh, I find it on uh, Aliexpress uh, surprisingly it's a fishbone backpack uh, as far as I can see it is a, a photo backpack so it's designed uh, for the photo camera here is the strap for the uh, tripod uh, I don't know if they uh, mount this uh, this velcro on the front but it is a, a great uh, backpack for the drones it's not ex expensive it is protecting the drone also as you can see there is a rain cover on it so the drone will not uh, be damaged if the rain start to fall I use this uh, cover just to protect it from the uh, dust uh, I know it may not damage it, but I don't want to get uh, dusted. And it is really great because you also can put a tripod uh, or another, I think, two uh, jaws. No, the, uh, another jaw, I think, in here, or two small ones and one bigger on the front. Uh, there is also a. Uh, show you. A, uh, another pocket in, uh, in here. Uh, I can show it what I have it already in there I have this landing uh, pad I uh, use it for my drone it is uh, barely fitting on my under my drone because I have those covers but it is really great it is a uh, foam or something like that uh, it is uh, anti it is uh, sticky like those in the in the cars uh, for the phones uh, and really great. I like it because uh, I'm uh, not uh, starting on the on the sand or on the grass. I just uh, I just found uh, search for a flat spot, put it in, uh, on the ground, started. I did never land on on this because uh, I uh, not good at landing. Still, it is my first drone after about ten years, if, if I remember. So. I still uh, still learn uh, all the all the steering and something like that. Also, I, I just put a, a tilting mechanism, so this will allow me to uh, see the landing pad uh, when I'm landing. But it is a really great uh, thing to have. And now I will try to put it like this and open it. Maybe on the lamp. So we will start from the front. I use a FlySky uh, FSI6. Uh, I uh, what I added is this uh, neck strap. 
uh, it is a original <laughs> fly sky next trap uh, yeah, I just uh, found that the, there is a fly sky so I did order this one I added uh, this uh, switch protectors uh, they are quite great because uh, you have a grip on it it doesn't uh, slip uh, on the on, on the switches uh, I uh, uh, upgraded or modified the firmware I have now the 10 channels over the iBus I don't know is, is that the SBus or the iBus but uh, I now have all the 10 channels as you can see I did uh, upgraded the antennas there is movie about that uh, someone asked me uh, about the range so far the GPS showed uh, that the longest distance from the starting po point is the uh, 110 uh, meters so it is uh, over 100 meters but I don't fly uh, too far away uh, from the starting point so maybe it's uh, not uh, uh, so important update for me but I want to have uh, a good range and also I can set the antennas as I want mostly I just set it like like this but my drone have a setup like this so and now I can choose wh whatever I like and just fly it as I want uh, on the switches uh, I have a buzzer mm, in here I have a horizon mode I may not remember what this one was uh, I know in here uh, I have this arm, arm and air mode here I have a uh, horizon uh, angle mode and here I have a horizon mode so in this uh, when I start uh, to fly like in this setup here, uh, here is uh, turn on the angle mode so I will not be able to uh, uh, to, rot uh, to pivot uh, or uh, change the angle more than 55 degrees uh, arming and in the arming I have only the angle mode so next one is the air mode because uh, as far as I read I cannot land with the air mode on and if I will uh, want to fly, uh, fly in the uh, horizon mode I just switch off the angle mode and turn on the horizon mode so this is my setup uh, here I have a uh, adjusting uh, of the uh, camera angle because I have a tilt mechanism and here I have a uh, wait, this one, oh this one is in the middle and in here I have a profiles for the uh, uh, not pit tunings but uh, rates uh, tuning I have a free profiles uh, from the sl slowest to the fastest I still fly on the first one be uh, before I uh, uh, learn how to fly well I still will keep this one May maybe if I switch to the to the horizon mode I will start to use the the two other profiles but still I have just uh, this one uh, for the batteries I use of course the anal loop I have the the second uh, pack of force just in case if I will need to switch it because they are the best they can survive the low temp temperatures uh, the high temperature and uh, they have a very low cell discharge so if you want uh, batteries for the radio always choose only the analog uh, if you want of course the re rechargeable I don't know the uh, alkaline batteries but this one is the best uh, moving on I have here the spare propellers uh, if I remember this one are the Raystar uh, propellers uh, with the highest uh, pitch if I understand go good uh, I have uh, one uh, for each propeller in the backpack in case I will uh, need to replace it uh, of course the red and the green uh, okay. I have a, a wrench for the nuts on the propellers bit hard to uh, tighten it because the propellers are high but still I am able to use it and my new tool this is a great thing 
is a clamping tool for the motors no more holding with the hand something like that there is uh, a rubbers uh, there are rubbers around it so when you clamp the motor you can hold it like this there are also three types of the, of the wrench for the propellers but if I hold the motor I cannot uh, use that so I have also this on both I are made for metal uh, as you can see I have most of the parts in uh, violet color I think it's a violet color I don't know the English uh, name but I like this color oh, there is another one in here uh, I like this color because the supports are on the drone in the same color so I did uh, order this uh, part and this uh, tool in the same color so this is for this box the second box if I remember yes it is a meter is a anometer. Uh, so far, uh, I don't have. Yes, I have uh, batteries. There, there was batteries inside. That, that's something new. It is a wind meter uh, device. This allow me to check if the wind is not too strong uh, for flying. Actually, I did never use it for the drone because I just I have a. Uh, weather station that uh, measure the, the wind but in case I will uh, want to check uh, what wind was when I uh, fly it and uh, if I'm not able to fly in some wind I can always test it it is not necessary but I did order this one okay so the next one here are the batteries or the one battery so far uh, I did order, order this uh, this uh, pro uh, protection uh, bag it is a uh, fireproof bag in case the lipo will start to uh, burn or uh, explode I don't know if the explosion will survive but uh, if the fire will uh, if the um, battery will start to, to burn this one will prevent from the spreading and from destroying other the parts and inside I use so far this one is a a a h or how to say it a h tech infinity Mm, I uh, did found uh, found out that there are good uh, uh, comments on on this battery. It is uh, a 4S. I did start from the 4S uh, when I built it because uh, the drone have a back and I uh, needed to uh, uh, choose if I want to use 3S or 4S because that one uh, that back have a configurable. Uh, switch uh, on, uh, and that you need to solder and I did need to uh, select so I did start from the faster battery right away it's not a big deal if you start from it I did fly drones in the past so I uh, was able to to fly this one it is 85C but I noticed that the voltage drop so I did order another battery like this one but I will order a, a battery with the highest C value the 120 if i remember so i think that will allow me to uh, fly maybe not longer but uh, uh, don't get uh, i will not i think i will not get a voltage alarm uh, in the air because the last time i did fly three minutes and uh, i have a voltage uh, low voltage alarm on the display and uh, after i one second it turned off but i did land it so i did not fly too much so that's in here uh, let me see what do i have there let me put it i will show that later i have a bag full of cables there is a charge, charging cable for the goggles uh, the cable for the camera some cables fpv something like like that i do have a soldering iron uh, i still don't have a spare uh, 3s battery for the soldering iron 
uh, but this is uh, quite good if uh, you are uh, far away from the home and in the field and something on solder you can always use this with the 3S battery it is quite handy uh, to also, also have this and I think that's from the toss, no, I still have all uh, this is uh, just a, a clutch for the, the lens. it is from the FPV if I remember from the goggles but I use it for the uh, for the lens this is great tool, I have uh, uh, two, uh, two screw dri drivers like this this one is slightly different than the other one it is more easy to take it out uh, this one have only the 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 hex uh, screwdrivers, and the second one that I have also have a uh, uh, Phillips and the flat uh, screwdriver and two uh, for the nuts. Uh, I don't know how how they call it, but they are in two sizes. It is really great because if some screw unscrewed or something like this, it's always handy to have a. Uh, something like this they they are uh, really well made i have two like this one and they are really good so i did uh, i am suggesting to buy something like this uh, i the second one i have this lane so oh, it, it is here this one is the second one that i use uh, they are very similar i think the handle is the is the same but this one is harder to open and uh, as you can see uh, the, there is a Phillips screwdriver already uh, because I use it for the RC cars if I uh, want to disassemble something this is very good screwdriver ok so let me reset the camera ok moving on now about the FPV setup here is my spell display because I of course I have a goggles so and this one is just the spare one it is a Boscam FPV watch uh, it's not expensive uh, maybe the resolution is not bad but if I uh, use the goggles I'm not uh, the second uh, people that are with me uh, let me say a friend or something or someone like that will not see what I uh, see so I did order this one it is a uh, with uh, built-in camera built-in uh, battery I think I yes, it should be charged I did charge it uh, it is small of course uh, because it's uh, just a spare monitor uh, I still did not use it because I of course I fly it on I fly on the goggles so uh, I I don't need it but when my friend visit me I will uh, use this one because he will uh, fly on the on the goggles and this is a a very good uh, buy because the price is cheap I also will have a uh, another monitor the bigger one with the recorder because I did order a uh, airplane uh, an electric glider that will have a IO camera with the built-in uh, transmitter and there will be no recording on it so I will uh, need a grand uh, recording uh, setup so I will uh, build that but I still wait for the receiver for, for that and this is that and I think this is the last one if I remember, yes, this is the last one of course, the goggles let me take it out from the protection cover I <laughs> did mount it or glue it the, the spinning eyes <laughs> I like this uh, idea uh, so this is uh, the Yashin goggles of course I don't remember the model and there is no model on the goggles let me take it out uh, so it is a uh, model as you can see with a separated screen so in, uh, with this I can mount it on the tripod and have a ground station uh, I have the version without the DVR because I have a DVR on the, uh, on the drone but I will have a separate DVR 
uh, really nice uh, uh, glasses I don't uh, I have a let me show I use a uh, uh, glasses myself so I need to take it off uh, just to uh, to use the goggles uh, but it's not a big problem sorry if I it's not a big problem uh, because I can still see oh, they are quite dirty I need to clean it a little bit uh, really, really nice I have a angle uh, connector I have uh, of course the the antenna is a monster antenna I don't remember oh it's a, a Foxer antenna sorry it's one of the most popular antenna and one of the best that I did found in a normal price not a priceless I did charge it so of course uh, it is on I can connect uh, signal from the uh, from this connector yet from this uh, connector is a headphone connector of course I don't have sound uh, on the drone because that will be annoying uh, you can connect uh, a aux channel from here let's say like a better receiver uh, or something like that I don't have with the two antennas uh, goggles because I only have uh, one antenna so no diversity but I like this uh, setup it is uh, uh, it is first that uh, I have that uh, with the FPV I did have a one uh, with the gyro gyroscope that you can uh, move around head, head for the uh, computer but for the FPV is the first one and it is working ve very well I like the idea that I can separate it and just have a uh, have this as a monitor so it is really good uh, only this part uh, you can see in here and glow <laughs> how to say because it's a little angle or maybe because of the storing they they was un unglued um, uh, in the package so on, I think the glue get get dirty and just uh, because of that it, it is ungluing so uh, for the backpack that's all I have uh, here the other part so for the charging I am using my old old Tourniger Accusel uh, 6 so this uh, charge is in the first uh, three or more drones so it is one of the oldest in uh, in this era you uh, you can buy the uh, Bmax i6 I think that that one is the same uh, charger as, th as this one I have a, a temperature uh, sensor for, for this charger but I just mostly don't use it uh, it is uh, disconnecting the battery if it's get uh, getting too hot really great chargers uh, because you can configure uh, everything I am charging with the one C, so it's 1.45 uh, amps for the uh, 1,500 uh, uh, milliamps uh, battery, and I really like it. I can also see the voltage of all the cells, but I have uh, some cheaper chargers, but I still like this one more. I did buy a foam. Uh, fits for the the landing uh, gears for the drone sadly i don't have space on the drone for uh, for this <laughs> you will see why but i i am not able to use it uh, i can already show you the two types of the um, protection that uh, for the drone that i uh, did buy here is a let me take it out uh, here is oh i got two uh, here is the uh, motor protectors that protects the spinning motor from hitting anything I wanted to use this uh, and the second one but I uh, ended up not using uh, this one because the second one protecting the whole uh, motor and the protector but it's nice setup if you want to keep it uh, small and keep it uh, light I use uh, this uh, this one is uh, I don't remember the uh, the factory that made it. Uh, I will put a link in the description. It is uh, there are the motor pro, uh, protectors and the propeller protectors uh, for the five inch 
uh, models really great okay I, it is uh, maybe a child uh, thing to put on the FPV drone but I still learn and I uh, because I let my friend I will let my friend fly it I wanted to have a protected uh, drone I never I did uh, land and flip it uh, and uh, nothing happened so it is a uh, really great of course uh, the only thing that can happen if I uh, hit something in the middle it will crash the uh, the camera but so far it's really great and allow me to uh, land it with the sliding uh, land and uh, still have the propellers intact and everything works so it, okay it is uh, I don't know how heavy this uh, thing is the drone is uh, 600 grams if I remember it's not uh, too bad uh, with, with the battery so it is still quite good with the old equipment that I, that I have so this will really uh, let me uh, learn to fly and if I will want to take on and take this off I think I will just uh, buy new frame new new parts and just build uh, another drone that will not have this because I want to keep it uh, just uh, if someone will want to fly but uh, uh, I will be afraid he will crash it so I will keep it uh, now I did buy a F3 uh, flight controller uh, sadly I never use it just because this one doesn't support uh, the, uh, the GPS that was the only reason that I did not use it uh, it is a really good uh, FC uh, have most of the functions uh, doesn't have OSD if you don't need it that's why I just didn't use it uh, so in this moment I am using a, a Matek uh, F405 uh, standard version with the OSD uh, that, ha that I connected GPS and that was the only reason that I did not use this one and the last outside of the drone thing here is a uh, watt meter on the power analyzer this one is something new that I just uh, got about two days ago oh, the cables are very thick on this one it is a 200 amps uh, power analyzer why I did buy this because I need to calibrate the current it is a very dangerous thing to do because the drone showed that my motors uh, draw more current than it's uh, mm, normally possible uh, and showing that the battery is draining really fast uh, so I did um, buy uh, this uh, device and I will switch the propellers uh, in the motors to get the force uh, uh, the pulling to the ground I will strap it to something and I will uh, calibrate the, the current just to have a precise uh, readings I will solder the XT60 connectors uh, on uh, on it just to have uh, easy access uh, to connecting the drone and the battery so this is a great tool okay so let me clean it the desk and will take the drone and I will show what I did on my drone okay and here is the drone uh, first of all I did try to uh, find the most popular parts so you may see that uh, some of them are really uh, most popular that you can buy uh, let's start from the frame the frame is a, a Martian, Martian uh, anniversary edition it's a Martian 2 I think uh, sorry I don't remember all the names so that was the most popular uh, uh, I could uh, buy so uh, the, the comments was good on this one and really like it uh, the motors are Raystar and BR 205 also I think they are uh, racing edition I don't uh, remember the, uh, that one uh, the propellers uh, you did see on the arms I have a 
uh, lead stripes uh, it is a uh, one color uh, lead stripes they are not uh, uh, changing they are not controlled it's just connected to the uh, connectors on the ESC uh, on the back sorry and uh, those are connected to battery they can survive uh, uh, 3S and 4S so depending on the battery they will work uh, just fine will not burn uh, of course the green on the front and the red on the rear uh, moving let's say we'll start on the rear uh, two antennas uh, from the receiver uh, one is set like uh, this and the other ones are like this it was straight but it just just a little bent because of the of the back uh, I have a mat matic uh, buzzer with the lights this one is controlled so I have many uh, status on the uh, on this one like the battery on the top uh, the warnings if I remember on oh, this one is the G uh, no this one is the GPS the warnings this one I doesn't remember and the battery so if this one got the got green I know the GPS it's uh, connected and having the the fix also uh, there is a buzzer if the battery runs out or something like like that uh, I do have a as you can see in here uh, zip ties uh, with the antennas uh, to keep it straight and just uh, to protect it from the propellers so that's quite close I see oh I didn't know it is so close oh that's not so good on this side it is quite far but here I see there is a small mark on it but it let me move it maybe on the front no on the front not okay. so I will need to use that I did not know it is so close but still nothing happened so that means it is uh, quite far oh I will need to correct that okay uh, moving on uh, a GPS in here it's a PN220 if I remember good um, it is uh, it is working fine showing the status I am not using for the fail, fail safe I just use it for the OSD I don't want to have any problems with uh, configuring or hitting something on the way so I just have it like this inside it is a uh, flyscale receiver mm, I don't remember the model this one doesn't have the RSID I did take out the uh, case I, I did I'll unsolder all the connectors and just solder the, the wires for the uh, FC connection and a switch in here the, this one just to have a, a binding uh, switch and I if I switch it it will start to bind under it there is a uh, Yashin uh, receiver the most popular one connected with the Foxa uh, antenna so uh, let me uh, uh, I will uh, talk about this later. I have a Fox antenna, a uh, Fox battery, sorry, um, Fox uh, camera in here. It is uh, connected to the servo. There is a small micro servo uh, inside. Uh, maybe uh, from here you will be, uh, you will see it a little better. Uh, I use a, a Fox uh, mount. I just bend it uh, next to the base and uh, bend it somewhere a uh, uh, little uh, higher just to have uh, a movement on the on the camera uh, I did make a uh, connection uh, the, uh, the L uh, shape uh, metal just to have a uh, connection with the camera it is screwed uh, with one of the screws uh, from the case and this allow me to uh, pivot the camera of course it is uh, automatically adjusted by the FC so this allow me to see the ground when I'm landing and not the sky like uh, like I did have before uh, I have a Yoshi uh, Yoshin uh, Pro DVR 
it is quite nice, uh, quite nice uh, quality. It is uh, 7 to uh, 700 p, so it's not full HD. Uh, get uh, a little bit noise from the motors, but I uh, also have a capacitor, a Rubicon capacitor on the FC, but still gets a little bit noise, but still uh, quite nice to uh, uh, that I can record uh, directly. I may uh, switch to the camera with DVR but so far I just use uh, this so that's all and here uh, here are the oh, and the straps I have a run cam straps really great because they have a uh, silicone or something that it's quite uh, uh, how to say it uh, do doesn't allow camera to move I also have this pad on here just to protect the battery from rubbing and uh, moving and those those two things uh, hold the battery so good that I, that I doesn't uh, scare that the battery will move or uh, fall out uh, now I have a um, Raystar uh, Rev 55 uh, if I remember ESC is the most popular phone in one ESC that uh, you can uh, buy it is working well so I don't have any problem with that uh, over it uh, I have a Matic uh, BSC with the 5 volts 20 volts that's uh, configured because I use a forest battery so there is a uh, 20 volts back uh, and over it, it is of course the Matic uh, F405 standard version and is the only name that I uh, remember from this uh, really great uh, FC, works very well uh, just need to have uh, configured some uh, pins like if you buy this uh, uh, this uh, light with the buzzer you need to uh, switch pins because the barome uh, barometer will uh, turn off if you connect uh, the LED stripes because they use the same pin so you just uh, turn, uh, switch the pin from uh, one of the uh, spare motors from the four pins uh, just to use for the lights and the uh, buzzer uh, stay on the same pin so a little uh, problem for a good uh, factory like a Matek but not a big deal you just uh, switch it in the C CLI so I think that's all for now I don't want to turn on because I have the prop propellers on and uh, that will be a quite dangerous for myself and uh, my life so I will not turn it uh, on uh, I like this uh, drone now I will just need to uh, switch the antenna some, uh, somewhere else just to, to protect from, uh, from the propeller I did not know it is so close I still have some uh, distance on it but I may cut the antenna so I will uh, move it somewhere else I have no idea where maybe somewhere inside I could no I think I'm not able I may just put it here over the button and just put the longest uh, zip ties uh, that will cover the lights but that will keep the uh, antenna on the rear okay I will just play with that so that's all I uh, will upload the uh, as another movie the flying with this uh, drone the first uh, two flights and the second uh, fly I did have a quite fun but I'm very nervous when flying drones so uh, some of the uh, actions that I do I are nervous like the last movie I made to little girls uh, just come to see it and say hello and I'm dead I did uh, make uh, some nervous um, moves just uh, and landed in the high grass uh, when I wanted to land just because I did not know where they, where they are and that's why I have now the tilt mechanism just to uh, be able to look around and see the ground so that's all there will be 
a document with all the parts because there are many parts and I'm uh, not able to put it in the description so if someone is interested in any of the parts or any of the tools or the bag uh, just you can uh, see the description I know this drone is not a professional drone but it's, it is a first one that I did buy uh, so you may suggest something maybe like the antenna position I will try to get it in the other position uh, but it is uh, not much space to to put this antenna anywhere else so that's all for now uh, see you later